I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers and thank you to all my old subscribers. Well, I don't know how old you are. I've only been on a couple months, but older subscribers. And I appreciate all you guys' comments and support. I think most of you, when you first open Windows Movie Maker, it opens under the storyboard. But I like to use the timeline. It's a little easier to edit. Okay, Movie Maker's open. Got a lot of options in here. The only three I use is the... Uh, usually, it's, you can open and close these so you can get at them more. Capture video, you want that open. Edit movie, you need that one open. And finish movie, you need that one open. You won't need movie making tips because I'm going to point some of those out to you. Now, under capture video, yeah, capture from video device, which would go to your webcam. Import video, import pictures, and import audio and music. Let's click on import video. At the top, you can see where it says look in. You want to open that up and browse to your folder where you save all your videos. Mine's in my videos. If you've created videos with your webcam, you can click on them here. Just double click on it and it'll load it. Depending on the speed of your computer, it might take a minute, maybe not. This only has a half a gig of memory, 512. I usually carry a gig and this you, you don't even hardly see this window. So the memory does make a big difference. CPU not so much, but definitely the memory. But that's how you import a video. So what we're going to do is hold down your left mouse and drag your video down into the timeline. And then let it go. And you'll see it loads up. But this one carries all the way across the screen. I can't even see the end of it. So what we want to do is click on the plus and minus. You can click on the minus and it gets smaller. See it coming in? Up here in the corner it tells you how long the video is, which this is 7 minutes and 1 second and 27 tenths. Tenths don't really matter too much. Okay, so you click in here anywhere and it will go to that portion of the video. Let's say you wanted to edit it right there. Then you'd hit pause. There. Let's say you want a little finer control. You know, to fine tune where you're going to cut the video at. Then you'd go up here and click on plus and make everything bigger. Make it as big as you can if you're going to try and edit your voice. Okay, we're at. Kind of remember where you're at in case you lose your point. If you put your cursor over there, it tells you where you're at. Two minutes and 50 seconds. Almost 51 seconds. That way, if you get lost, you'll be able to come back to that point. See, with you zoomed in all the way, you get more control over your over your video. And you can actually take this and drag it into the other video. Let's drag it in a long ways to show you what it does. See how it overlaps each other? So now we're going to play it. Import pictures about the same way. Okay, let's import American flag. And there we have the American flag. Now let's say we're in our video. We want to put that. We get to the point where we want to insert that picture. And you want to go over and you want to. Once you get to that point, you go over and click cut. And then drag your picture down to where you cut it. And it'll insert itself right there. See that little tiny thing? You can't even hardly click on that picture. So we're going to go back over to the plus and zoom in on the screen. Now you can edit the picture. Let's say you want to add, add a caption to that picture. Go up to make titles or credits. And it's going to give you a list of options. Whether you want to add the title to the beginning add title then that'll be the beginning of your video or add a title to this before the selected clip or a title or add a title on the selected clip or add a title after the selected clip or credits at the end of the movie um, 
let's go before the selected clip type in what you want now once you type in you've got more choices down here as you get a preview of it over here what it looks like if you're happy with it click on done add title to movie there's a couple other options you can change the text font and color that one changes the size of your font and at the other end of that you see where it says color this one is the color of your font this one's the color of your background and you can make it bold font italic underline you can change the font type once you get that set you can go back to edit the tile the title text or you can go to the other option that's available change the title animation okay if you want to edit a certain clip just click on that clip and it'll go to the beginning of it with the timeline or if you want to edit this clip just click on it and it'll go to the beginning of that one it'll highlight but it's so small right now, so we're going to go to make it bigger, zoom into it. Now we can manipulate that clip. You see the hand changes in that. If you hold down your left mouse, you can drag the clip around. You can change places. You can make it longer. You see how the cursor changes when you get to the edge of it. You can just drag it over and it'll get longer so it stays on the screen longer. If you want to edit that particular clip, right click, go to video effects, and there's a whole lot of choices in here where you can blur it, increase the brightness, decrease the brightness, ease in and out. You can slow it down by half or you can speed it up by double. And click on the one you want, click add, it shows up in here, we sped it up by double. That'll make this clip that you had selected run twice the speed, which is, makes the, the sound run twice the speed also. Okay, the other part of editing a clip, click on the clip that you want to edit, go up to make titles or credits, title on the selected clip, Type in something that you want to show up in the caption. And then, of course, you change the title animation and the text. We've showed you that. So for now, we're just going to click Done, Add Title to Movie. But when you add text to a clip, it shows up underneath down here. And you can move that around so it shows up a little before the clip or after the clip or whatever. You can make it show up longer, shorter. And once you create that caption, if you don't like it or you want to change it, click on it to highlight it, and then right click, and at the top, it'll say Edit Title. And that reopens it so you can edit it, change your animation, the font, or whatever. And if you decide you don't want it in there at all anymore, you click on it to highlight it, right click, and delete. Now the other part I'm going to show you is how to edit your your voice. Um, and in this part right here, I uh, well let's listen to it. And that'll make that'll make this clip. No, I said that'll make that'll make twice in there. So I want to cut that out. If I'm going to edit my voice, I want to increase the size as much as possible. We'll hit play, and that'll make. That'll make this. We'll go back to where I first said that. And that'll make. And we want to cut that one out because we've got it here again. That'll make this. And that'll make. Okay, we know it's right there. So the beginning where I started to talk. Goes up in here, we sped it up by double. Okay, we get to the part where 
that sentence ended, we'll click cut. Wait for it to refresh. Hit play again, we'll get past that point. And that'll make a we'll click cut again. Then highlight the clip that we don't want. Right click and delete. Now when we play it back by double, that'll make this clip that you had selected. And now it's fixed. Now I'll show you what the video transitions look like. There's all kinds of them in here. The transitions work best between one frame to another that look different. We'll find the transition we want, we'll drag it down in place of that clip and we'll hit play and we'll see the transition or whatever you want to do but don't and if you decide you don't like that transition which shows up between the the video and the sound you can highlight it right click and delete and the transition's gone okay we're going to capture from video device of course, you'd have to have your webcam already plugged in. Capture from video device. Put, it'll show your camera. Click next. Uh, you'll have to give it a name. It's going to remember the last place you saved it. Click next. If you don't see these other choices, there'll be a little blue link. It looks like this one. And it'll open. If you click on that, it'll open these other settings. And you want to click on other settings. For the best video quality, you want to select a high setting. Um, it's going to make a bigger file, but you're going to get a lot clearer picture. And I usually select video for local playback at 2.1 megabumps because that's the highest one. And then we'll make that smaller later to upload it to YouTube. Click next. Now once you're ready to start recording, Click on Start Capture. Shows you a preview of what you're recording so you can see if you're lined up or where you want it to be and stuff. Then you've got the option here to create clips when Wizard finishes. That's always a nice idea because if you pause or something like that, uh, Windows Movie Maker will actually pick that up for you. And it, it, it's pretty smart about knowing where to split it into clips for you. Then when you're done recording, Click Stop Capture, Finish, and it'll import your video. Now it's making clips. Again, you can preview your clip, click on it up there, then hit play. And then, of course, like we said before, just drag and drop it down into your timeline, and it inserted your clip. Once you finish your video, you're going to go to Finish Movie, Save to My Computer. you got to give it a name, name it anything you want. Then you have to choose where you want to save it. So you can see mine's going to My Documents, My Videos, YouTube. Then click Next. Now you have to choose once again. And YouTube recommends to make it video for broadband at 512 kilobombs and that doesn't turn out too bad I'm gonna click next and you can see it's saving movie one gig of memory is recommended to run movie maker otherwise it's gonna crash on you it's gonna be real buggy um, and it's gonna take a really long time like this one is right now now let's say you get maybe a quarter of the way or you're not quite finished with your video yet and you want to come back to it later go over to file save project as um, you can open up the menu bar and browse to any folder you want my documents my videos YouTube YouTube one click on that folder name it and then click save I've already saved it once, so it asked me if I want to save it again. You know, if I want to replace the original, I said yes. 
Now you can just close it. Now you can go back into that folder where you saved it and just double click on the file and it'll open. Now if, what happens with this one is I move the folder since I created it the first time so you get these empty boxes down at the bottom that don't show any content. In the original file I opened is blank. So what you want to do if that happens to you is right click on your on your empty file here and right at the bottom it'll say browse for missing file. And then I'm going to go into the folder where I just opened it from or wherever it's saved at. Let's see. YouTube YouTube 1 and there's my missing file. Just double click on that. It'll refresh itself. And X is gone. My video's back.